journals, folks. So I'm scared. I read that marijuana seriously decreases your memory. And which is why I don't smoke it, but I borrow money from people who do. <laughs> it also messes with your depth perception. That's how far away things look. That's really serious, by the way. Seriously, I'm, 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 uh, you guys know, you guys you fly jets or know people in the air. I mean, that is really serious depth perception. Don't mess around with that, because I remember once, I was so wasted. I thought I was only, like, that far away from success. And, uh, that was scary. I started making plans, you know what I mean? I uh, looked at a house and stuff, and that was crazy. Don't do that. But I will defend marijuana, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a very fair person. Like, I don't think it's so horrible. I just, like, it's like they say it's a gateway drug. Like, they say that marijuana is a gateway drug, and, like, kids will smoke it, and then they'll, they'll move on to harder drugs. And I don't think that's true. Because does anyone, do you guys know, like, a serious pothead? Okay? I don't think they have the motivation to go out and get hard drugs. Pothead can barely order a pizza, okay? <laughs> Seriously, guys, they're not going to make three phone calls, hit the ATM, and drive out to San Bernardino, okay? <laughs> it ain't going to happen. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a gateway. It's a locked gate with a huge couch in front of it. <laughs> it's comfortable, and you can sleep there forever and watch TV. Caffeine is a drug. Caffeine is a drug we see every day. There's more caffeine in everything all the time. There's like, they're having a fucking coffee war on us, you know? And there's caffeine in other drinks that aren't supposed to have it. And I don't know how you get a buzz anywhere. Everyone's so just like jacked up on caffeine. You got to the point, I went to Starbucks recently, and they know me. They're like, oh, hey, sir, would you like your uh, triple mochaccino with two extra shots? And I was like, no, you know what? You know what? You know what? Today, why don't you just give me the jumper cables on the balls? <laughs> Just hook those right up. Turn that to about 8.5. That and a blueberry nut scone. Uh, tell you, I'm really uh, a drug I have a lot of respect for, though, is speed. I think speed's a good drug. I'll tell you why. The name, just the name. I love the name. Because it's the best name. It's honest and accurate. It tells you exactly what the drug does, right? It's called speed. It makes you speedy. Like a five year old can understand that, right? Yeah, no, I know, because I sold speed to five-year-olds. A little juice box and, you know, an apple. You know, it's cool. Those kids aren't fat, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I saw childhood obesity, seriously. But I think speed, great name for a drug, very honest. I think all drugs should have to be named like that. You know what I mean? Like, hey, man, <coughs> you want to smoke some forgetfulness? <laughs> it's like, no, dude, I snorted up some endless chatter. <laughs> Uh, dude, we're gonna shoot up, dude. We're gonna shoot up some music career. Uh, dude, we're gonna shoot a lot, like a double album, man. A couple of singles, too. You know, me, I like the old, you know, lowered sexual standards. At one, uh, one uh, show, I actually told that joke, and a woman yelled out, No, ecstasy! Ecstasy is the most accurately named drug. And I'm like, um, I don't think so. I think that drug should be called Shitty Dance Music Collection. <laughs> So, um, people aren't using language correctly all the time. Uh, and our, people just like speak wrong and we're supposed to go along with it. You know what I mean? I don't like that. Let's just be totally honest and realistic with our, with our language. Like, I was at a restaurant the other day. They had something called free range chicken on the menu, right? Okay, you, you know, heard of this? It's like a chicken, right, that doesn't have to live in a cage when it's growing up. It's supposed to taste better because it can run around wherever it wants, whenever it wants. And I'm like, wait a second, that chicken's not free range. Man, that chicken. Hello? That chicken is homeless. <laughs> Let's get that bird in a fucking room, okay? That is horrible. We don't talk about people like that. You never heard someone go like, hey, you know how Sticky Willie hangs out in front of the bar? Yeah, you know the uh, you know the guy with the, the beard down here pees himself? Yeah. Yeah, he's not uh, he's not homeless. He's free range. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of sad, but uh, he's going to taste delicious. <laughs> I was in the supermarket the other day. I was in the produce section. I saw an apple called uh, Red Delicious. I'm like, wait a second, man. That's not cool. It's like someone's a little overconfident about their apple. You know, you can't name your own fruit delicious. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Exactly. <laughs> Please meet my sidekick. Buzzy. Okay. Um, no, well, okay. Uh, anyway, 
So uh, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do that. You can't name your uh, your apple red delicious. That'd be like if my parents had named me Funny Jew. <laughs> Which would be weird, right? That would be weird. That would be a weird name for me because it sounds Chinese. I also, uh, I can't stand, there's 